The heart's job is to pump blood. It uses an electrical signal to coordinate its muscular contractions in a way that is most efficient for pumping blood. Those electrical signals are generated near the top of the heart at a little patch of tissue called the sinoatrial node. If everything is functioning properly, those electrical signals are propagated into the chambers at the top of the heart called the atria, which causes them to contract. There is a tiny delay, but then the signal continues at a second structure called the atrioventricular node. The signal then rapidly travels down special electrical fibers within the heart, where it's conducted out to the heart muscles in a very specific pattern. That pattern allows the muscles to contract in a coordinated fashion. This pumps blood efficiently out of the heart and to the rest of the body. But things can go wrong with this system, and that electrical signal can get disrupted. Anywhere along the path that this signal travels, injury to the heart or disease within the heart can cause problems with the passage of the signal. When this happens, a person is said to have a heart block. The end result is an inability for the heart to efficiently pump blood out to the rest of the body. If blood doesn't get to the patient's brain, they may complain of being dizzy. They may even get faint or pass out. If not enough blood gets to the heart muscle itself, this can lead to chest pain or a worsening of the ability to pump blood. If blood backs up in the lungs or the brain senses that lack of blood flow, that can lead to shortness of breath. You can find evidence of heart block by performing an electrocardiogram. An electrocardiogram can detect and measure the electrical signals that are being passed through the heart. It graphs these signals on sheets of paper, and the shape of that electrical impulse can tell us information about the health of that electrical system.